Hello and welcome to How Not to Solve Monster Problems, Dice Functionals, Monster of the Week game. I am the keeper and the runner of this whole little sh shebang. I keep my players from killing each other. Real quick run through of announcements. The videos are caught up from last time we played. So if you're looking for the backlog, you can find them on YouTube. And the podcast feed should be fully up to date as well. And the next session will be up uh, when, Michelle? Oh, this one? Yeah. Probably Friday of next week, I'm thinking. I, Hopefully. That's pretty much all of our news. So let's just oh. real quick. Yeah. <laughs> let's just real quick jump, jump through our recap, which last week was a Between the Mysteries, which means our players got to do little side stuff, no big main arc story. Ollie developed a new spell and some memories. Jody. Had a very enlightening conversation with her mentor. Waylon discovered an artifact of his is missing, or mm -hmm. borrowed. Mariella had a fantastically fun conversation with her mother. And Lizard got a new gift and a friend? Question mark. All that said, though, we are moving into the next arc. And as we do... So, here's the little... Backlog, the hook, because, you know, that's how we roll. A number of murders have been occurring in a pretty well-known city in the supernatural community called Nixglow that is known for being actually kind of a haven and inner uh, species haven. Again, it's it's a great city. It's a place where anyone can be feel safe, and it's dominated by four main groups. The sex demons, incubus, succubus, whichever you want to use, the vampires, the werewolves, and the witches. And they are coming up on their 25th year anniversary of peace. However, over the past week and a half, there have been a string of murders. And, of course, the string of murders occurring in quite a well-known city has attracted the attention of Jody's organization, Docs Up. And they had begun to investigate last week. And as more bodies keep getting found, tension between the four groups have been rising. And all of them are trying to find someone else to pin the blame on who it's actually causing it and lashing out. The investigations last night turned sour as the investigating agent was found dead in the street in a similar manner to the last four victims. Jody and any of her associates she wanted to bring, as the organization said, are being invited to investigate and try to solve what has happened, what's going on, and who is murdering innocent people in this city, if they can. And I'm going to real quickly, since we've started the session, bring you over to the correct map, because there's a little teeny tiny city map, and it's going to look oh, like boy. a, cra oh, it's gonna God, look like a crazy so person thing, but... What? um. You're so loud. You I'm always can, loud. You guys know, can see I'm... the new map, correct? Yes. Yeah, there are I'm... lots of lines. Yeah, let me explain it real quick before we get too far into it. The four colored sections are the four different districts that each supernatural creature holds a certain dominion over. For the red, that is the vampires. <coughs> the dark blue is the witches. The light blue is the werewolves. And the purple is the demons. You know there are important locations there, but you haven't, you don't really know where most of them are yet because you just arrived in the city. You arrive at the quote-unquote docks up headquarters in the city, uh, and it's centered right in. Let me draw real quick. City central. In the neutral zone. Now then, would you like to go ahead and start wandering off, or do you want to learn a little bit about the victimology? Because that will change where you go from here. Right off the bat, first question I have is actually, um, is this a city that is publicly known to be um, inhabited, or is it just like there are normal people walking around, and occasionally weird shit happens, and they just kind of live with it? 
the supernatural is still a hidden concept, but anyone mm-hmm. who's in the know can easily spot the things that are out of place. Got it, got it. So it's like it's like that scene in Men in Black when Will Smith walks out and goes, oh, look at all the aliens around me. Yeah, it's one of those things where people don't notice because they don't think it's to It's Sunnydale. Look. It's Sunnydale. If you ever watch Buffy, it's Sunnydale. Like, all this shit is happening. Yeah, well, (laughs) all this shit is happening. And they all know it's happening, but they all choose to ignore it. Because that would make Mm -hmm. their brain explode. Yeah, pretty much. I already heard a ding. That's never a good sign. Jill, (laughs) there's no spike. (laughs) Stop it. I mean, there are vampires. Still find them. Okay. Um, I, I think the smartest choice is probably victimology first, at least in Wayland's mind. All right. Jody, you guys are all standing out in the lobby, I should say, of the Doxa building, which is a heavily guarded place you can't get in unless you know what's going on. And you're all sitting around a little, little coffee table in the lobby, and there's files spread out in front of you of the five victims. You have Shelly Sanchez, Jacob Jacob uh, Jackson, Rick Reeves, Alice Atkins, and Miranda Mercer, the last of which was the investigating agent. All five have been found in pretty common places. If you give me one second, I will mark on the map where they were. I gotta pull up my other map. Okay. All five of them have been found in the neutral zone. Here. Here, 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 and then one right on the corner outside of Doc Sub's headquarters, along with across the street from the police station. All five bodies have the same characteristics in common. The blood's been the blood's been drained from the arm vein. All victims were O negative blood type. There's also been bite marks in the neck. There are large canine bites. Too large to be any animal found local in various parts of the body, which, as people who have been around werewolves know, they pretty much line up closely to the size of a normal alpha wolf and other wolves that can shift's bite. Ruins carved into the body's skin on the back. Clear signs of intercourse before death. Rope burns on the wrists and ankles, and all of the names have the first two letters. Like the first letter on the first last name. Yeah. Which is a common thing in magic. And and, and uh yeah, that's something Joe noticed. <laughs> and I will send that description to you guys. Uh, it's someone obviously and trying to make it look what... like someone it's trying it's someone trying not to make it look like any specific group or all the groups. Hmm. So, either there's some kind of a copycat trying to cast blame on everybody else, a group of people all trying to do their own thing at the same time, or could be one. This is one hell of a red herring. Or it could be one person from one of the groups who's trying to not trying to cover their tracks. Exactly, one person trying to cast blame on everybody else. Everybody, yeah. Or what if it's Mm. one person from every group? I also said that. (laughs) Yeah, no, no, I. It's okay. I'm. I mean, you you say this like I pay attention half the time. Um, Ah. Do I mean, know? if if you have an idea, let's just run with it. Um, I think the smartest idea would probably be to talk to potential suspects from each group. I'm sure someone has seen people around there at the time of the death. And if we got folks to go on, we'll go from there. I'm going to steal some selling to me all. What I'm drawing on the map right now is information you were given in these files, 
which are the essentially the home bases of all four groups. However, you do know that they own other properties in their own districts. Do we know how, like, do we know if we're going to have problems, like, going into places? Because we're none of these things. No, there's smaller groups in each area. It's just a matter you respect the uh, the ruling regions codes. So who do we want to talk to first? Is is there any sort of is there any information in any of the coroner reports beyond just all of the different markings, like what they believe to be the original cause of death of all of the bodies? There is some. Um... Victim to victim, the first was definitely bleeding out. Uh, the second one, also bleeding out, but from not from having the blood drained from the arm, but from the bite wounds, blood loss from the back, and then suffocation on the last two. Hmm. Okay. So, if it's one person trying to impersonate other members of other groups, then they're being very careful about how they're killing folk. If, say, it was just a vampire trying to cover the tracks, then we'd be seeing a bunch of people who all died of examination. Instead, we're seeing one who bled out, one who got carved on, one that got chewed on, and then two that suffocated. It could be it, a small renegade group of uh, all of these people working together. That's my bit. What was Mercer's cause of death? Mercer's was one of the suffocations. I have a thought. Suffocations could have gotten close. No breathing. <sighs> I hate you, Connor, so much. What, what's up? Um, do we know of anyone, this is my weird thought, do we know of anyone who is, like, super against this town? No one in the city that you know of. In fact, pretty much everyone in the city greatly loves the calmness here, because most cities you go to is ruled by one group, and you fuck up with them and you're out. You see, because, yeah, man. Like, there's not, like, no, like, religious zealots or anything that are constantly preaching about this town. Not to it's the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> the Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody the, expects the Spanish Inquisition. The people that would know of any dissenters or renegades or missing members would be the people in charge of their own zone. So I say we go and talk to some of the people in these headquarters and find out if there's any, if they've had any uh, rebellious members or anyone who's gone missing recently. Should we separate? No. I would not. <laughs> Why do we talk to some know, potentially uh, very dangerous nuts? Uh, hmm. There are. At least two pe two groups that rely mostly on still. So, no, going alone is a bad idea. Well, I wasn't it's... saying alone. I was saying like, okay, that's fine. You, but you, you, I don't know anything about any of the stuff. I for one yeah. say we just start with the werewolves. <laughs> oh, okay. Why? I like dogs. <laughs> do you, Do you like dogs? Yep, yeah, that's it. Oh, I mean, don't there's a, call them that's dogs. A, no, they, that's no, as they good won't. a thought as any. To be honest with you, I have no idea where I else to go. I it wrong. So, I guess I will let you lead the way. I, I don't. I'm good at talking to people, but not. We'll see. You could bark at them. I'm sure that wouldn't go bad. No, no. Uh, listen. Hey, what's up? You still have that dog toy? Oh. I don't think do I do. Do you want to get killed? <laughs> Hold on. No, Jill. Do you if you want to add you... your... 
do we actively decide <laughs> to take it out? Mr. Double W, do you want to add your name to this list? <laughs> I mean, you have the the W. I'm just saying, you if you need to w piss w off a werewolf, that's how you do it. <laughs> We're not, you don't want to piss off a werewolf. Not right now. Yeah. But trust me, I've been in situations where you got to piss off somebody. And there are always some really good ways to do it. Well, Waylon, let's not. I'm Finn. Especially since you are actually possibly. I'm not Finn. saying you, you start off with it. I'm saying if you gotta, you if, can. You do have the, the alliteration in your name, so you are a potential victim. We'll point that out. <laughs> I'm also 60. If I die now, that's fine. I'd rather you not. You're only 60? What? Yep. Hold on. I forgot. Oh, okay. I thought you were like 800 years old. I'm not going to lie. I know, right? <laughs> like a sudden warning for music. And what kind of a what kind of a creature were you expecting me to be if I was 800 years old? I don't know. You pulled out mummy wraps. All right. Any fam. defense? <laughs> Come no, on. I, I may be stupid, no. but I'm I'm not Yeah, I'm I'm stupid, but I'm not blind. I it's can't true. argue that. Shall we make our way over to the werewolves? Yeah, let's go. Do we have to walk? Yes. yes. All right. Fine. It's not that far. Ali, heading, come on. As you are heading over, I will give you a little bit more information now that you're walking in there. You know the werewolf pack in this city is known as the Johnny Pack. The leader, Oscar, is not what you Myra? call the... Is not what you typically think of when you think alpha wolf. Not that he isn't built like it, but when you think of traditional werewolf media, you don't think of a pack being built on love and trust. So he's a hippie? A little bit. Cool. Little. Mm, that sounds like dogs to me. So. Oh, he's domesticated. As I mean... you. As you walk towards the light blue district, you notice some of the building styles shift. It's very much telling that the people who live here like a more homesy feel to the town. It's a, a little bit poor section of the city. Uh, and as you're walking, you can see what you know as the housing area for the werewolves. Think like flat row at any college you've been to. The houses, but they're not super well kept up and you can tell some of them are apartment buildings as you're walking over you do see a guy sitting on the front porch who is let's go back up uh, why did i do this to myself i should have made separate documents <laughs> who is fairly tall and built tanned with messy black hair green eyes that's got little crow's feet around the edges Probably in his 30s. Uh, I do have a quick question. What's up? Uh, how does it smell in this area? Like wet dog. Gotcha. Ew. Gross. So it smells like a frat house then? Yeah. Also gross. Okay. Uh, I haven't had premonitions yet, have I? Uh, you can roll for it right now. Ah, that music is much louder. <laughs> That is twenty. That's five on the die plus two is seven. So a mixed success. You feel the lady as you're walking, just kind of take a deep breath in. She goes, Oh. And like you've seen so many times before with premonitions your eyes kind of glaze over and you're shown glimpses of images see people in handcuffs kind of familiar considering the last mystery you see what looks to be a shifted werewolf a witch brewing a vampire at a nightclub a demon at a nightclub but one with a distinctly let's call it different tone and you also see, most importantly, the location of 
the Werewolves Animal Hospital. Which I will put on the map if you give me two seconds. So wait, they don't have a people hospital? Not in this part. I guess that answers that question. Blue dot goes... Get the right color blue dot. Blue dot go burr. Yeah. Goes right over... Here. If I can... Are you going to cooperate? Are you going to let me paint? Are you going to... There we go. Right here. Okay. Okay. You don't have much what? else. Everything is pretty cloudy. Okay. This is good. What are you doing? What are you... No. By the way, uh, pretty sure the they don't have an actual hospital in this area. Pretty sure it's just a vet clinic. Hmm. Just so we all know. Are you going to approach the man on the front porch? Yep. He's going to look up as you come up and kind of give you a half smile and cock his head and go, how can I help you all? Hey there, bud. Uh, looking to have a chat with whoever's in charge around here. You're looking at him. Oscar. Good to see you. Name's Waylon Wells. Nice to meet you. I will offer my hand. He's going to shake it. and You notice his grip is very tight, kind of like an enthusiastic puppy. I was going to make a joke, but never mind. So we're actually just looking to have a bit of a chat about uh, uh, the whole situation that's happened over in the neutral zone. Recent deaths, stuff like that. Take it, one of you are the new investigators. Yeah, yeah. that's me. Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling y'all would be uh, coming. He's going to look around the street. Come inside with me. Alrighty. Why are we gonna get shot if we stay outside? No, I just don't want to cause a ruckus. Uh, I okay. guess they're not very trusting of outsiders, are they? Facts not untrusting of outsiders. They're just a bit spooked with everything going on. Mm. I don't want to. Also, don't want them to think that we're accusing all werewolves of this. She's got it. Mm. Nah, we're accusing everybody of everything. We don't have information yet Ali. to accuse anyone. That's pretty fair, kid. I'm pretty suspicious of everyone right now myself. And you guys come in, and despite the outside appearance, the inside's pretty nicely furnished. It's like those frat houses that for some reason have too many couches. I mean, it's... <laughs> not for some reason. There's reasons for and it. And you walk in, and the first room you walk into is the living room, and it's got... Two L-shaped couches around a large screen TV. It does not smell like wet dog in here. Because there are candles lit that are very non-offensive smelling. They're just kind of a, like a light vanilla. And he's going to sit down on one of the couches, put his hands on his lap and go, so what's going on? People are dying. No shit, and we got a week till the festival. Yes, Fucking Bristol. Tiffany's breathing down my neck about this. Who's Tiffany? Uh, you all really don't know much. She's the uh, clan leader of the vampires. Very, uh, by the book, orderly. Do they well, suffocate people? Not to my knowledge. No. <laughs> Who are the leaders? Besides well, Tiffany and you. You're looking at yours truly. Oscar uh, Janae. You've got Tiffany Sharp over with the vampires, Lilith Lily James with the demon tribe, and Sarah Wilds with the witches. Okay. I'm guessing everyone's on a bit of an edge with all of this going on. A little bit. What's this about? A, a festival? It's not really a festival, it's just a celebration. 
most people were just going to come and have fancy dinner together. It's 25 years on a full moon. I mean, wouldn't you celebrate? Not if everyone was going to die by attending. Yeah, that's that's kind of the feel right now, isn't it, kid? Look, we had the city... Well, I've not been here 25 years. I'm not that old. Tiffany's been here for a while, and she opened up the cities to outsiders. Wanted to make it a haven. And now someone's coming in and stamping all over the piece. Is... My question, is there anyone... That, especially since you've opened it to outsiders, is there anyone who's against the city existing? Have you heard of anything? Any Outside of the city, plenty of people. A lot of people aren't very big fan of uh, interspecies mingling in spaces like this. They say it would cause too many tensions. Any this particular... is the first time we've had tensions in 25 years. Any particular? I couldn't name any. In that case, can you name me something that I'm sure you will know of? What do you mean? I just need to know about any misfits, outcasts, or troublemakers that you may have, may have had. At least in your group. I don't expect you to know about everybody else's. You're going to kind of see his face sour. Look, the only people in my group, you know, anything like that, have all been in the panic rooms. They're still trying to get control of the shift. Panic rooms? Yeah, they're essentially rooms we put up so that way they can't break out. You don't want a young werewolf who was just bitten, doesn't know how to control himself, running around in the streets now, do you? No. So past that point, say, a new one turn, you don't really have much else in the way of issues. That's right. I'm really the only one around here who can turn people. No one else can. My other wolves no, are either. capable of it, but it's not common. It requires a lot of effort. What's up, uh, child? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> two questions for you. One, was anybody put out when it came to organizing the festival? Somebody come away from that pissed off? No one like they got gypped? No one's really mad. I mean, we were going to have it in the neutral district, so no one really had to host. It's another way to keep the peace. You don't want someone to feel like they're more important than another. That's fair. Uh, actually, I guess three questions. Uh, two, I know that your, your kind aren't much for suffocating people for sport. Vampires pretty sure we all know how they kill which is again kind of makes sense uh who would kill somebody by choking them to death you know most people would probably say demons but uh i don't think the demons in this city would why is that just a gut feeling okay uh, one last question. Uh, any one of your people get arrested recently by the human cops? No one recently. And even if they did, we have security footage throughout this entire place. We are in the, uh, security farm down the road, uh, protective pack security. Okay. We got so, systems in pretty much every district. That's good. So if we needed any security footage, we could come to you then, right? For a good bit of the town. I don't got everything, but some of it. What's up, um... I don't really know what to call you. You're not really that's, a kid, but... That's fair. Uh, I have multiple questions, most of which are semi-unimportant. But are we talking, like, twilight werewolves or underworld werewolves or, um... Oh. What we do in the shadows swearwolves? What are we... Like, what's the situation here? He's gonna just kind of sigh... <laughs> Look, Are we that's a very dog personal soldiers? question, <laughs> and I don't feel comfortable answering that. That's fair. Next question. Is there any politics going on? Are there any elections coming up? No, we try to make sure to keep celebrations at least half a year away from elections. Okay, and we cool. we also have a rule that any of the people in the groups are not allowed to run. Hmm. You can be rich and influential, 
mm-hmm. but you're not allowed to run. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, then who um, runs? Hmm? Then who runs? Humans. Just the hu- Okay. Just we saying. just make sure to back them occasionally. If they're not a part of the group and they're supernatural, like, you get a few stray sirens around here, they're allowed to run. Actually, one thing I do want to ask about, just to make sure. The uh, folks who died, none of them are associated with y'all in any way? Not to my knowledge. Blizzard, he's lying. Liar! <laughs> What now? My friend here says you're lying. She knows. Look, they can tell. I don't, I don't know everyone my pack is friends with, all right? Last I heard, though, Miranda Mercer, your agent, like to run around with some of my, my boys. Which ones? Last I heard, he was hanging around. Val. She's the one of the vets at the hospital. Got it. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for y'all? Like I said, I would love to continue helping, but also I do still have people in the panic rooms downstairs. I have a question, but considering your answer for my first question, I'm not going to ask it because I don't think you're going to like it. Go ahead. No, I I don't think I should. I think I think for once in my life, I'm going to have control, and I'm not going to ask you how much it would take for you to turn me into a werewolf. Shit! Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Kim. I, mean, I, don't, I don't tend to bite people. Most I mean, of my pact is from outside groups. Well, then it's good that I didn't even ask. Because I didn't ask. <laughs> and Lizard writes something down on her phone. <laughs> I was about to say, no one here is a born wolf while bitten, even myself. Oh, wait, I do have one more question. How can you tell if someone's a werewolf? <laughs> Looks directly at you, at uh, Jody. <laughs> well, first of all, the eyes will Jody's. glow in the right kind of light. Mm-hmm. They'll get a little mm-hmm. furry when they get angry. I got some pretty sharp teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also, they grow five horns when they shift. Five? Holy oh, shit, that's a lot. Okay. She's Thank you. Me, Lizard. <laughs> Lizard plays it off. Lizard's like, yeah, I fully believe you. Thank you. <laughs> if you uh, want access to the hospital or the security footage, just tell them Oscar sent you. I want this handled. Is there a reward by any chance? If it was going to be a reward, Tiffany would be the one giving it out. She's old okay. money vampire. All right. Oh, and if you, you see any of my pack out at the locations, tell them to be careful. Will I do. haven't seen much of them in the last few nights. Everyone kind of playing it, like staying low. Staying low, and I'm not leaving the shifted ones down here. With everything going on, I wouldn't... I wouldn't put it past someone to try to pull my panic rooms open and cause some shit. Are the panic rooms all electric locks, or is it something manual? Electric locks, and there's cameras in each. You should probably do something manual. Yeah. Trust me, I'm considering that after everything that's been going on. Yeah, you knock out the power to things, and all of a sudden they stop working. I Thankfully, there's nobody. Experience. There's nobody here that would ever knock out the power. No, no, we don't do that here. We never would no, do that. Never something he's, we've he's ever done. Went at both of you. Nope, nothing we've ever done before. No. Uh, it was ice me. You, I don't know if the adults have any questions, but uh, I have something. I gotta go take a. Uh, Ollie's gonna get up and start walking out. As you're oh, walking I'm out, you can notice, after you. by the way, there are motivational signs everywhere that are like, you can do it! Hang in there! And pride flags. Are there, <laughs> are, they, are they, are the, like, all that stuff, is it all wolves, or is it cats? They were originally cats, but somebody definitely drew over and put a puppy. <laughs> it's fair. I like this Weird, I expected wolves, not bears. <laughs> and, again, when you walk out, 
that you actually look up and notice there are pride flags hanging on top of the house line. Are there like wind chimes outside, by the way, too? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's got a little like little figure in the center of it. <laughs> love this place that's jace not the character ollie's yeah, sort of like what the fuck like i mean go for it but also way too much motivation i'm not about this i was gonna start i was leaving and, and heading down to the uh, the hospital i'm like falling right behind I'm going oh, with. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. No, no, no. Start. Mm -mm. I, again, dog hospital. I saw it. I know. We got to go here. I know. But you, you, you cannot, as we said, no, no, no separating. And you're going fast and you need to calm down. Werewolves Wait. don't do stealth, Mom. Ali. What? Werewolves don't do stealth. I know that. I don't care. Calm down. I'm gonna very get... calm. Mm -hmm. You're running. You're practically I'm, running. I'm. I am excited. I know. Calm down. Okay. You guys are heading to the hospital. Are the rest of you going, or have you all decided to split up at this point? No, we're not splitting. No, we're we're, we're going with. I'm. We're, me and Beck are also just um, <laughs> amused by what is occurring. Joe, what are you doing? Uh, Joe, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm opening a marker and I don't have scissors, oh, but wait, I do have a yeah, dagger. Okay, be careful. Don't cut your finger and cut cut away, yeah. not towards. Is the lizard doing their own thing, Jill, real quick? Or are they um, following? Lizard initially is like five minutes behind because they got distracted by like just looking around and then look back and everyone was gone. Hey, do me I will favor. say, no, I will say that, that Jody would not leave Lizard alone. She would, right, so she would lag will, if, yeah. Alright, you two roll 2d6 for me. Oh boy. Give me she's, she's gotta watch after the kids. I mean, I gotta watch after one kid. I have one yeah. responsibility. And she, he's she, she, he's like, Ollie's with you, and Moylan can do what he wants, but like, Lizard. <laughs> uh, Moylan can do what he wants. What did Seven. you Moylan is a grown-ass man. He is a grown-ass man. Becca, what did you roll first? Uh, a five. Was that a specific roll or is it just a random? Oh, it was sharp. sharp. Oh, it was sharp. It's. I think I have a plus. Where's my? Uh, I have a plus two to sharp, so that's a seven. And Jill, you rolled a seven. Is that with your sharp or without? Without. So it's a nine. Okay. So both of you got to make success as you're kind of lagging behind. You guys are kind of enjoying the scenery. It's really pretty. Jody, you'll keep having to drag Lizard back because she keeps almost going into the road. And as you're walking, you both kind of have someone run into you and keep walking pretty fast. And you don't get a real good look at him, but he has a bright dyed purple mohawk. I can vibe with that. Pet, see if anything got stolen. <laughs> Nothing's missing from your person. Lizard does yell, I love your hair! He doesn't say anything back. All right, rude. A little bit of an asshole there. Got the whole sidewalk, but yeah, those honestly, fuck you, that guy. Those of you that the lead are coming up on a building that looks almost like it was made. Com oh wait, wrong one. You're coming up on a quaint little building in this district. It's a painted pale green. Looks to be a couple stories high. Large windows sit at the front, letting in a lot of natural light. There's a few cars parked outside and people bringing in their pets. Inside, uh, as you come in, you see a nice little calm lobby, a couple people sitting around with animals, although you also notice two people sitting without animals. And there's a lady at the front desk who's checking someone out. Or at least you think it's a lady. They're high femme, but not, mm -hmm. you're not sure. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, so, hi, my name is Ollie. I'm new to the city. Um, very, very, very new. Um, and I am, I'm in a veterinary program being told 
one of my projects here is I'm supposed to look into weird animal deaths and occurrences, kind of of a weird sort. Um, I was told uh, by my friend Oscar that I could ask questions here. Um, is there someone who, who's available to talk with? I don't want to uh, have anyone taken away from their duties. Mm -hmm. uh, the woman at the desk kind of gives you a knowing look, and <laughs> sh she goes, let me get Val for you. They'll okay. be in room three. Anyone else who's a part of your program can go there as well. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I will point out, I'm behind Ali, and I'm just like this. Do you go into examination room three? Yep. It's a pretty standard vet room. Kind of small, like most vet offices are, with a dog table, essentially. So, mm -hmm. and a little bench on the side. It's right. definitely a tight fit with all of you in there. Are there all going to lay on the table? <laughs> There's no dogs. Fuck. Ollie's going to lay on the table and just cross their arms. Ollie, what are you doing? Research. No, I really just want to do this. This seemed like a fun thing to do. Slap, slap on the like leg. Sit up, sit up, mom. As this is happening, the door from the other side, the office side, opens, and a feminine-looking person walks in with long blonde curls that are tied back with a red ribbon. She's, they've got these big, wide gray eyes, very thin, very pale. Hi, I was told uh, Oscar sent you. Yes, hi, I'm Ali. This is my mom, Maria. This is Waylon. Waylon likes dogs. Um, we are part of a group that is only half here right now, I, I guess. Um, the other two are uh, out in the lobby. Oh. I, they they're kind of they easy want. to pick out. One of them completely stands like a dock sub agent, and the other one's with them. So that that yeah, that that sounds about right. Uh, Waylon's um, gonna go and get them. <laughs> the office is now even tighter than it was before. <laughs> I mean, it's a doctor's office, and they're, they're right. gonna kind of look at everything and go, "Just follow me," and they're okay. gonna take you out to the office side, and. You're going to walk by a bunch of cages, there's animals in them, a couple puppies, kittens, an exotic lizard. <laughs> and they're going to walk. Cat? There is a black cat. Can I pet the black cat? It's in a cage and you can kind of stick your fingers in. Uh, just give me a 2d6. I okay. want to. <laughs> animal handling. Roll animal handling. <laughs> that, that's, that's four. Yeah, the cat hisses and like spats at your fingers. I was going <laughs> to hiss back. Val, Dick. can you not intimidate the animals? I'm not trying to intimidate them. I'm trying to pet them. Yes, well, Jasper's a bit of a fickle cat. Why is Jasper fickle? Uh, only likes to be pet a certain way. Diona's very similar. <laughs> That's fair. And they're gonna lead you back into their office, which is a fairly, fairly nicely furnished office. There's plenty of room for all five of you. <sighs> so, how can I help all of you? Well. <laughs> Two of them uh, are distracted by a cat. I know. <laughs> well. <laughs> we're, we're looking into the murders. They're um, going to tense immediately. Is that okay? Are we allowed to look into the murders? I don't like talking about it. Okay, then we won't talk about the murders. Let's talk about something else. Stick with me on this question. Has anyone been arrested recently? In general or in my pack? In your pack. By the human police specifically. No one recently. You've always got a couple idiots that come through, but nothing too shocking. Drunk and disorderly. Okay. Do you know anyone who, out of the four main groups, 
would go for strangulation as their main form of killing. That's such an unusual question. No, um... I mean, it's an easy way to kill someone. I mean, just crush the windpipe and you can do it pretty easily. Yeah. But it doesn't imply anyone's problem then, right? Yeah. Even a vampire would choke someone out if they wanted to. So realistically, that would be kind of useless if you're trying to imply, let's say, a werewolf. Right? It'd be useless to try to imply anyone with choking. Okay. Can you just go ahead and ask what I know you want to ask, so I can go back to my work? That was actually what I wanted to ask. So you're not here about uh, Miranda? What happened? About Miranda. Now we are. She was my friend. And she was one of your agents. She's the one that died. One of the ones. She was the last one to die. When did you last see her? About four hours before they found her. Did you get into a fight? Did we she... were at the blitz together. I was helping her against boss's wishes. The he told us to let docs up investigate alone. Interfering might show favoritism or might show us trying to hide something. But she needed help. We were in the blitz together. Um, it's the demons club in their district. Do you have security footage? In the blitz? Or do you, does your not in around? No, we actually have footage from inside the bliss. Uh, we okay. it's part of our inner communication. We have house we have video cameras in a couple buildings in each district and they have access to it just as much as us. You what can go to the security following? Did she was <laughs> She was thinking the last two people had gotten picked up there because she didn't know why else somebody would have those signs. It was either gonna be there or the vampires club. And considering the Demon's Club is a uh, <clears throat> certain kind of club. It made more sense to come from there. When you say certain, I've seen enough episodes of SVU. Those sex demons. Yeah. It's autoerotic. It's nothing on the floor that you don't want to see. That's just normal mingling. It's the second floor that gets spicy, shall we say. I should hope there's nothing on the floor that could get very slippery very fast. Sticky was the word I was going to go with. So, oh, God. Miranda wanted me to go because she didn't feel safe. She had been a desk jockey most of her career. She was, she was comfortable there. She didn't have a lot of field training. I went to go be her security. I got an emergency call about a supernatural creature here. It ended up being a false call. Who That's called? the last. You don't think someone tried to get you away from her? I just think I haven't been thinking that every minute. Do you I have the know. number? It was a fucking payphone. They told me they were going to meet me here. Do you know where the payphone was? No. You could probably ask your agency, but something tells me it won't be much help. What Will was it? she Will doing it? in the field? If she was the only one who was available to work for now. They didn't think it was actually that big of a scenario until one of your agents died. They thought it was just supernatural creatures being supernatural creatures. Which feels kind of shitty to me, but, you know. Oh, yeah. All supernatural, all supernatural creatures just kill each other all the time. That's just normal. But the thing that kind of stuck out to me most about that night, I felt like I was being watched the whole time. And I, I never noticed anyone paying attention to me directly, but do you ever just, you can feel someone's eyes on you? Mm-hmm. And uh, I didn't tell the boss this next thing. And she's, they're going to pull out their phone and hand it out after they press a couple buttons, and it shows Miranda as the name. Look at the time the last text was sent. 
and you guys know it is after estimated time of death. What, was what does the text act? say? I made it home safe. Quit worrying. Hmm. Someone. Well, Ollie's gonna take that phone number down. Uh, and Ollie's also gonna take down the the phone number from the payphone. Okay. You got both of those. Did they sort retrieve? Of looks over here. Yeah. Uh, Miranda's phone. Was it on her body? It's at the police department in the records. Okay. It was found uh, laying beside a cracked. Okay. Uh, so other than thinking people are being picked up at the demon place, uh, did she have any other leads? Um, any, anything she found out? Nothing she was sharing with me. Okay. She just kept kind of muttering to herself, but nothing I could really make out. Just why, why now? Can I roll an empath roll? Yeah. On her. Go ahead. And let me pull up your sheet so I can remember what impact does. Nine plus. I think that's a success for me because it's a nine plus something. Uh, Aren't you weird? So. Oh, it's a nine then. Okay. Um, My weird is zero. So. You trying to just you pull towards what she's thinking, what she's feeling. And you feel the symbol on your chest start to go warm as it does whenever you do this. And you can just... She's upset. They they lost their best friend. Everything just feels wrong. Everything's tense. They can just feel the heart racing constantly because they never know what's going on and if supernatural creatures are going to be next. Okay. This is the first place they felt like was home. And now it's might be going away. We're gonna figure out who did this. Not just for Miranda, but for you. It was my home. I didn't have anywhere before this. None of my pack did. We're all outsiders. All of us were bitten and left abandoned. Oscar took us in. One all bitten pack. You do gonna... know why that's important, right? I don't know much about any of this, to be honest. No with blood me. lineage. No blood lineage. Chosen family. We're found family, and not only that, none of us can shift fully. We can't take full of forms. The side effect of being bitten. I like yeah, I was gonna say like she's gonna like lean forward. Like, I'm kinda new to all of this. I don't know anything about anything, so it's a bit crazy. Um Do you mind if I give you something then? As a gift for helping. Sure. And she's gonna go over to her bookshelf and just pull one of the books down and hand it out to you. What's this is an uh, encyclopedia. It's got a few different types of creatures in it, but all four of the ones here can be found in it. It's not super in-depth, but it's a good overview of accurate information. It was written by one of us. Thank you. I will really, really need that. I... What's, what's up, Ollie? Two questions. One, where was uh, Mercer staying? Mercer, uh, in the neutral district. They hadn't been feeling safe while investigating, so they were staying in the, the agency. In the agency. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of rooms that you can stay in there. I assume that's probably where you guys will be staying. That's where we'll stay. Maybe. Uh, two, where is the office that would have all of your security footage? Oh, stuff? um, I guess Oscar did direct you there as well. Um, let me... I got preoccupied. That's... Let me give you the address. And okay. It's this little solo building on a corner. Ah, how did I do that? That one. Got it. Yeah, it's the corner building that's solo by itself. We okay. kind of picked that intentionally. That's fair. That's not very valid. There we go. It's hard to miss. It's a bunch of glass. 
Got it. Is there anything else I can help with you guys with? Not currently, no. Well, I wish you luck. Fine, who did this to, to her? Oh, she we doesn't will. deserve to go out like that. No one does. Agreed. I wish you luck. If you're going there, that means you are probably going to be running into, uh... You're going to be running into Diana. Diana? She's a bit of a hard case. Oscar's right-hand man, too. Diana. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you for all the help. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm here if you need me. Uh... They're gonna be the last to leave. Okay. And I'm just gonna kinda pat her on the shoulder and I'm like we're gonna find out what happened. I promise. You probably did it fucking hell. And then I'll leave. Right. Ollie has busted out a bag of sour Skittles and is giving some to Lizard. Lizard's eating them, but every time that she eats one, she has to stop fully and go and do, like, the sour face. <laughs> like, stop walking. <laughs> the lady's so. gonna go, why, why does she keep eating them? And by the way, this is the first time you've actually directly heard from her since the memories. Mm -hmm. There's a sick enjoyment in something kind of hurting, but it doesn't actually cause physical pain. How come you You've don't met... do that? I guess, yeah. It's... I guess mine's more direct mas masochism, I mm. guess. Mm. Yeah, the way you get into fights tend to be uh, pretty brutal. Yep. Advantage feeling quickly. Yeah. Little things. You doing all right, by the way? I'm a bit. I think the word you use would be shaken. Fair. I knew I wasn't. I wasn't always this. She's kind of gonna look down at her hands. But thinking it and knowing it is two very different things. Well, I've. I'm working on an idea. I know you haven't been around for a bit, but I'm working on an idea that might be able to help a little bit more long term. If you're looking to keep doing good stuff, your the visions gave me an idea. I'm always happy to help. I think you'll like this one. We got to focus on this first, but once this is done, I, I think. We might be able to start here, actually. Funny enough. Well. Then, let's hope it all goes well, shall we? Oh, quick let's hope. We can't speak stuff. As this conversation wraps up, you guys start to approach a building like Val said there would be. It looks like it's entirely made of glass, with carefully carved landscape around it. It's quite beautiful, actually, but it's very much a clean, polished new building compared to the rest of the district. Nothing to secure like glass walls. Does anybody have a rock? We're not, not sewing a no. rock. Ollie hands one. No, 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 just no, no, it's not no. big. <laughs> do you throw it out the window? Abs a lizard like rears back to throw it and then drops it right before and then does the throw motion. You know, like you do with dogs. <laughs> the area. Um, but do you guys want to enter or do you want to stand outside and keep pretending to throw rocks at the glass? <laughs> I think going to enter. <laughs> if Lizard does it too many more times, something's going to happen. 
It's like when it tells you, when the game tells you not to press a button and you just keep pressing it <laughs> until something happens. <laughs> exactly. But I'm, I'm assuming all of you are going to walk Ollie's in. Ollie's gonna use a little bit of magic to pick one up. Like, bring one up to his hand and Ollie's just gonna, like, lightly toss it at the glass just to see. When you hit the glass, you can tell this is not normal glass. It is reinforced from hell. And the noise it makes... Ollie, as someone who's been around magic long enough, you can tell it's enchanted. I figured. I figured. Magic glass. Lizard, you really could throw a rock as hard as you wanted to with this, and you'd never break it. Here, actually, Lizard's gonna pick Ollie's, the... Ollie's gonna pick up the slingshot. You could even use this. I... Can we just... Lizard, Lizard is going to slingshot a rock at the window. Gonna make oh, full really throttle. Real quick, werewolves. just for the fun of it, we will to kick some ass. How many dice is that? It's a two d six, and it's plush or tough. <laughs> oh, 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 what is my tough? Not a lot. It's not good. Oh, it's not great, but it's not bad. No. Um. Okay. Eight on the dice. Damn. Eight on the dice. All right, you pull back, you feel it go taut, and it goes flying into the glass, and it makes a louder ting than the ones Ollie's been throwing. And you guys sit there for a few seconds, and then someone comes storming out the front doors. <laughs> what the I'm... hell are you kids doing out here? Lizard throws the slingshot at Ollie. <laughs> it wasn't me. Walks out. It's kind of short, but again, like the others you've seen, pretty fit. Dark black skin with kind of oddly blue eyes that you can tell from being around the supernatural probably are not natural with a closely shaved head. Testing a theory. Do your theory testing somewhere else. I'm not strong. No, I can break you. That's fair. I don't know. I have no more rocks. I lost them all. Are your cameras? I didn't throw any in the first up? place. Are my cameras what now? Made of the same stuff. Who's asking? Friend of Oscar's. <laughs> All right. Come into my office. Thanks. M Mind you, like, I'm, like, standing by the door where she stormed out of. <laughs> we even walked and in. I'm <laughs> yeah. I've already walked. That's the thing. She didn't care that people were in the lobby. It's the fact that she heard people outside because she's a werewolf with supernatural hearing talking about no, 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 I, <laughs> I'm not arguing that. It's just, Ollie's he doesn't just notice gonna anybody wave. else. Ollie's just no. going to wave as Ollie's walking past. You follow us. Obviously. And Oh, yeah, no, Waylon, Waylon kind of gives a <laughs> and then starts following. Oh. Oh, Lizard has her hands in the air the whole time like she's getting arrested. <laughs> you guys get into Diana's office, as you probably are fair to assume that who, who it is. And you can see on the walls there are pictures of the pack, Oscar, Val, her, some other people, not mad. And on the other wall is a family portrait. Everyone in the portrait but her is in a military uniform of some sort, and they all look a lot like her. In the picture, her eyes are brown, though. Hmm. So what does Oscar want you all here for? And Security footage. Not addressing Ollie this time because Ollie is a kid looking at Waylon. Security footage. Specifically, security footage from the Demon's uh, Nap Club around the time of the most recent murder. Well, a few hours before as well. Yeah, the dark sub-investigators. Yes. Figures. Yeah, I can get you there. I can get you that info. I can show you brigades from all over the city, too. From any of the nights the murders have happened. That's fine. We don't really need other places right now. Uh, to be honest, the biggest thing I'm interested in is the club first, then we'll go around from there. The way I figure, if my hunch is correct... We're not going to see much interesting. 
And then we're going to go to another spot where the death should have happened, and we're also not going to see much interesting. But we may be able to see and track a little bit of Miranda's movement. All right. I know nobody asked me, because I'm just the kid here, but I have a third idea, too. Ollie's going to write down the phone number. That's a payphone. Yeah. Somebody used that the night of the murder. While I technically shouldn't have access to phones, what the police don't know has never hurt them. My Out of curiosity, exactly. why does this town still have payphones? Connor, have you ever been to a big city? There are still payphones in no. big cities. <laughs> yeah, there, there are. are. Like, there's still, there's still payphones. My town, the little teeny tiny town, still has a payphone by the courthouse. Ooh, really? I thought That's it was cool. gone. Did they take it out finally? I'm 90% sure it's been gone for like five years. Uh, I've not <laughs> just, just for like reference, the last time Connor saw a payphone, there was a wall of them inside my high school and they got ripped out. <laughs> also, do you have any camera around that specifically? Like any cameras around that phone? Or uh, the surrounding streets, if not. Let me nope. look up the phone, but first let me pull up the oh, on the side. Mm-hmm. And there's a giant TV behind her and she's works away on her computer for a minute and goes, all right, you can watch this while I look for that phone. And a feed pops up and you can see what seems to be the inside of a quite classy looking club. Most of the people are dressed very nice. A couple people though, you can distinctly tell are wearing collars and leashes. A couple are carrying walking canes, but a very high class looking club. One that looks like you pay a lot of money to become a member of. And standing there kind of Somewhat out of place is Val and Miranda walking around. You see Miranda talk to some people. Walk, watch her walk somewhere else. The two of them walk off on their own for a moment and talk. And then at one point, Miranda and Val are talking and Val looks down at the phone, answers it. Kind of makes a pretty upset face. Holds, grabs Miranda's arm, says something to her, and then runs out the door. Uh, can we see what time that's at exactly when that happens? About 11 p.m. Miranda, you see, continues to walk around, keep questioning people. Some of them are pretty odd characters as the night goes on. Dyed hairs, mismatched outfits, a couple furries. But at one point, Miranda just kind of, you see her standing in the middle of the room, walk around sigh and walk out and what time is that at about 1 a.m okay and she um, died her time of death is what about two okay so there's an hour missing is there any way to i don't know does anyone leave the uh nightclub after her or soon after her a few minutes 10 15 minutes I'm going to say at this point, one of you all investigate a mystery. Hold uh, on. Investigate a mystery. If you want, one of you can help out another person. I'll help out you, I think. Because what, re- what does that add? What do you uh, add to that? Help out helps by giving them a plus one. What's yeah, I'll do the, that. I, is you investigate sharp? sharp? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't know what your sharp is. My sharp two. is a one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you. Okay. Connor's prepping himself. Second time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's a seven plus two, which is nine plus one is ten. All right. Which means you can ask a bunch of questions off that list if you give me one second, because I don't have them up because I forgot about them. Answer the weak reference. But, for the most part, the video is actually surprisingly clear. More clear than most technology would have. Ollie's earlier question about them being magic is pretty on the nose. So when you investigate a mystery, you get to ask two questions on a plus ten. You can ask what happened here, what sort of creature is it, what can it do, what can it hurt, where did it go, what is going what is it going to do and what is being concealed here okay. 
I already forgot half of them. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me just sorry. Do. I'm trying. Yeah. I was trying to like consider which would be the best one to do. And I let me just I I, I, I have one out. thought. Yeah, I have one thought. Can, let me send but, this. While while you're pitching that down, I have a brief music. question for you, Jess, that Connor is thinking of. A what question now? A brief question. Okay. I thought you said so, funny, and I was gonna go, why? No, 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 no. Um, can we roll to see what Waylon would know about the significance of timing when it comes to witches? Like when sacrifices are done. I, actually, I could actually do something for that. Yeah, you probably could if you want to. Sharp I would say it would some... probably be your I'm getting too old for this shit roll. Uh, so roll to read a bad shit, situation, is... essentially. Oh, okay, so sharp. I'm just doing it because that would be what your past knowledge is. Oh, oh. Sorry and if that's out. loud on the mic. It's not uh, loud. That's six, and I'm getting too old for this shit means... Sorry, I need to open You had to read a bad here. situation, which is also sharp, if I remember correctly. Yes. Uh, plus one on the roll, so six plus two plus one is uh, nine total. Plus two? How do you... Oh, you're sharp. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right. So you know that the common sayings of the witching hour, while had some truth to it, isn't fully accurate. There are rituals that have to be done at the witching hour of 3 a.m., but it's not uncommon for witches to just do most of the rituals sometime after midnight before the sun is up. Gotcha. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the witching hour. Um, in that case, my question is this. Were there any killings that happened either before midnight or after the sun rose? No. Thank you. One second, I'm going to retrieve that die. Um, I posted the questions if you want to. Yeah, I guess. Or you can ask me one specific question if you would like. Oh. What I'm, uh, I think what I'm going to ask is um hmm. what happened here okay like what happens ah <laughs> sorry what Rip happened your butt out sorry <laughs> children what happened here yeah all right as you're kind of sitting there watching the feed someone intensely you can see and i probably just made my lipstick um you're watching miranda going back and forth and you're noticing more than once some people have eyes on her. Some of the people with the dyed hair, some of the people in the work uniforms, some of the people just in the store and the uh, in general area. But the only ones that you know are not looking at her with certain type of eyes are a couple of the people with dyed hair and a couple of the workers. Um, and a couple of the workers and a couple of the people with dyed hair left shortly after her as well. Um, and then I guess I would ask, where did it go? At this point, if I can ask that. Diana then. looks up and goes, I've also got a bit of feed from the outside too, if you give me one moment. And she's going to switch the feed. And you can see Miranda start to walk down the street. And you can't clearly see who it is. But you see someone walk up and like tap her on the shoulder. And you can see her turn and smile before walking off with them. So it was someone she recognized. Weirdly knew. enough, it's like there was interference on the camera. Or someone used magic to get her away. At this point, Diana's going to speak up. Yeah, I noticed that too, but can't really blame that one on the witches. It's not uncommon for them to sp uh, send and sell uh, potions that kind of fuzzy up scrying. Some people don't like to be observed, you know. Right. 
scrying, looks in the book. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what this means. You get to the page on scrying, and it just says, essentially magical watching without being in that area. The Tom- irony commonly of done with mirrors, but more modern witches have found ways to record it as though it is a camera. The irony of playing a person who has no idea about <laughs> any magic. Yeah. <laughs> All these incidents. Um. Huh. Out of curiosity, have you ever heard of people who are being scribed upon feeling like they're being watched? Absolutely. Do you know if the cameras will do it? No, we have a specific specific stuff on that to make sure you don't. The cameras aren't supposed to be noticeable at all. If you feel like you're being watched, it doesn't work. In that case, it looks like our dear Mercer was being scratched on. It's possible you can buy mirrors that do scrying pretty easily. But it's a little bit of a lead. It's definitely something to look into. I know the witches have a giant scrying mirror. The vampires, I think Tiff has one. Not sure about the demons, but the sex demons, who knows what they have in their rooms. So can anyone scry? Anyone who's got a charge on it, but it's kind of expensive. That's why Tiff's the only one in the vamps that have it. I don't know about the demons, but I know they're old money. The leader, uh, Lily, came from some old world brothels and brought a lot of money over with her. And of course the witches can make it themselves, so. Cost them nothing. Um... Is there a chair in here? Yeah. Okay, so Mariella's just gonna sit and she's just gonna start looking in the book on, like, the witches and stuff and, like, the sex demons. She's gonna just start, like, trying to make heads of this because she has no idea what's going on. Okay, you can start reading that and if you have specific questions, shoot them. Being the mundane is fun. What about the phone booth? The phone booth, yeah. And gonna pull it up gonna stop and you're gonna watch the footage it goes it goes it goes and then you both all of you watch as the feed cuts out fully now how the hell did they fuck with my cameras are there are there cameras at either ends of the street Mm-mm. This is the only one we've got. We usually deal with the police's stuff, but they don't really put them around that area because they say they surveil it themselves enough. Motherfucker, I'm going to have to go replace that camera. I didn't realize it was out. And sh- she's going to stand up. Well, Isn't I hate it to cut magical? This short. It's magical, but still got tech in it. I got to go replace some parts on it then. I'm sorry to cut this short for y'all, but I'm going to need you to leave. I need one more thing from you. Is it possible to hit the tech and not the magic? Yeah, but it's probably more likely the magic than the tech. Tech goes out, the magic will usually let us know. Magic goes out, the tech can't let us know. So you're saying the magic went out, not the tech? Yeah. Got it. Just one clarification. Thank you. We have a victim that was scryed upon and a camera that went down magically. Which is so on the sort. Hey, uh, Diana, one brief Hmm. question. Make it quick. You know many werewolves that can use magic? Johnny's got some basic magic. But it's not the same, is it? Nah, vampires can. Tiff is one fucking hell of a witch in her own right. It's vampire magic, but old, old money, old, old family. Demons also have some stuff, but I I don't know a whole lot about demons. I don't tend to associate with them. But wolves, no one here has magic. So, odds are the person who knocked down that camera and scryed on the victim is probably not a wolf. 
that or a very unique one. But if but you meet a werewolf that can do magic well, I would love to meet them. A werewolf could still be working with them, uh, because odds are we're dealing with multiple people, but it seems which then either demon or vampire are probably responsible for at least the scrying and the taking down of the cameras. I'm one you can find the rest though. Potentially. That would be a, a, probably the best place to start at this point. Well, if you all wouldn't mind. We'll leave sure. here. We'll make haste. And as you walk out, you see Diana lock up and sprint out the front door. So, which is the demons? I mean, we should probably go to the last place that she was seen. If we visit the demons, we may learn more about what they can do, and we may be able to try and retrace Miranda's steps to a degree that she talked to a lot of people, so there might be someone at the club. She, like, looks at, like, Ollie and Liz very nervously all of a sudden, and like, who saw and talked to Miranda? There's got to be somebody who's there. What? What? Not the problem. Not the problem. Uh, At least one of you is definitely not coming there. Lizard, how old are you again? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, As far as everyone here knows, I'm... Lizard looks down and like pats pats her pockets, pulls out their ID and puts her finger over their birthday and goes 21. 21. <laughs> See, here's, the thing. here's the thing. I know you're not 21. 21. <laughs> no. No. The lady's gonna kind of pop up and go, why are they asking about ages? I think they're gonna try and tell us that we can't go into the club. Should we not go in? I feel like we should if we're being told not to. Oh, well, let's not worry about that now. There's something, there are laws that people under a certain age aren't allowed in specific types of clubs. Well, that's dumb. I know. That feels it's like the they're being, you're being kept out for no reason. I agree. I don't understand why. It doesn't make any sense to me. Your mother doesn't know you have a fake ID. I know. Uh, so I have a couple leave, ideas, though. That does leave Blizzard. Ah. Well, I would say they're strong enough, but they were struggling to eat sour food. It's true. It's true. That is concerning. Mm. We should make sure that they're well protected in there. Or we could find a way in. We'll worry about that later. Do you think demons are going to check ID? Yes. For kids? Yes. Lizard is fully ranting at this point. Like, oh, sure, I'm allowed to have a gun and an axe. And sure <laughs> can, but I can't enter I, a building. <laughs> I think I technically. Maybe we could just go to the offices. And it'll be fine. I, I don't think, know I think technically kids. certain clubs would actually allow someone who's past 18. Not a sex club, though. Which is what this is. 18. 18, yes. 18 might be okay. Uh, but Ollie's not. Just decidedly not. That's the problem. I, I, Waylon doesn't give a shit, but. <laughs> Jody's like, ah, oh, fuck. Having to do part of the investigation that Jace kind of sucks. Waylon doesn't give a shit. Mariella gives a shit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact. My, my, I, I my thought is that I don't want to do part of the investigation without Jace. No, yeah. Fun but... fact. Jace gives a shit. Ollie doesn't. So let's go. All right, fair, fair enough. Jace and Ollie have a plan. Jace is a you know, like, parents. Exactly. Jace and Ollie have a plan. Okay. So, you guys don't actually know where the bliss is, so I'll give you a choice. Do you just want to walk around the demon district and hope you find it? Yes. I almost want to ask somebody. Can we <laughs> Google it? I Oh, God, you're in a city. I can let you Google things again. Yeah. yeah can we Google Maps? Yeah. Hey, Liz. Yeah. This, this is your thing. Can you look it up? Lizard's <laughs> gonna use the Siri, the voice talk, and go, 
Where's the demon sex club? <laughs> Very loudly, like an old lady into the phone. God. Oh, God. Oh, no. me, at this point, I'm going to say I'm you guys are probably on the border of the two districts. I'm, like, really tempted to just go up to somebody and ask. Part of me is hoping that... Part of me Mariela's... is hoping that uh, Lizard has used incognito mode so that her advertising is not only going to be sex club stuff. Oh no! Gonna me, get all the gentlemen's doesn't. clubs. Like Mariella kind of wants to just like walk to somebody with like her like unassuming like first like first like flannel shirt. Just be like, you know where the bliss is. <laughs> Sorry, speak up. She doesn't quick. care. <laughs> Can you speak up, hon? I didn't hear what you said. Me? Yeah, you. The one you're talking to. You addressed a what person? Oh, I was Just talking to someone. Yeah, I was where about to. The... You said you were gonna walk up to someone, didn't you? I do. Okay, okay. Oh, where's the bliss? The bliss. Oh, um. Let me see if they would know. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears> hmm. <throat> Lizzie, did you find it? Yeah, d d apparently no one knows here. Did saying where is the demon sex club bring up the Google Maps for Google said Maps club? Google Maps is a bit confused by demon, but it does find a club called the Bliss. Lizard starts directions and is leading the pack. <laughs> okay. Not yeah, telling you guys how to get there, gross. so you you have to depend on Lizard uh, to get there. I mean, oh, <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, I put a little square of purple where it's at. Jo Jody's following. She's like, "What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I can't bring Holly in there." <laughs> As you guys approach, y'all suddenly remember it is midday. Hmm. The club is not open. Ah! You get outside and the lights are off, and there's no one at the doors. I thought these places would go all the time. Hmm. No. I mean, there's probably someone in the offices at some point. Maybe not in midday, but before opening, there would be someone in. But what kind of we want to talk it? to the patrons anyway. It's a very pretty building. Bright light bulbs, you assume, are lining the wall along the bottom of it and around the doorway as well. The name Bliss is carved in classy black font above the door. Black bricks with no windows. That's how you can tell it's a sex club. It looks mm -hmm. classy on the outside, but boy, it probably won't on the inside. I've been to outside from some strip clubs. Hmm. There's also the uh, some very nice like plants along the sides of the door. Is there a fire escape? <laughs> not that you can see. Pretty sure that's not code. Damn. You're in front of the building, sweetheart. No, we're walking. <laughs> I'm walking around. I'm walking around. Okay. As you walk around, you notice there's a fire escape up the back. Okay. Is <sighs> I'm assuming there's just a, some sort of metal door. Yeah. With a lock. I mean, you can go up the stairs and try the door. We could. I can just walk up the fire escape. I mean, it's a ladder. You can pull it down, can't you? Okay. I'm just wondering if I had to, because those are normally up pretty high. Yeah, but you also have magic. I know. I'm not going to make you roll for that. That seems okay. like a very simple magic trick. Fair enough. I'm just going to pop the latch on it and then climb up the ladder and start walking up to the uh, to the door. Anybody got to follow... Ollie. I mean, yeah, I'm following. Of course. <laughs> uh, My absolutely. kid is walking around a building. I'm following. No, Waylon is fat and old. He can't do it stealthily. <laughs> keep, keep watch. I'll look after the kids. Uh, ring if something happens. Is there a security camera by the back door? Absolutely. Okay. Not one of the a high techy looking one, not one of the werewolf ones, right? No. Okay. It looks like a normal camera. Uh, cool. In that case, uh, 
I'm going to hit the camera. I'm going to hex it. Okay, roll for it. Ugh. That's uh, six total. Go ahead and mark experience again. It's the algorithm. <laughs> no, this one's my die. <laughs> Go. I, don't, I don't like d6s. Uh, oh, not now it's not uh, Yeah, it's the d6s. Yeah. Oh, it is. And you, I've been rolling like shit all night. It's been so bad. As you go and reach to try to do what you intended to do, you feel the lady, her hand crawl up yours, and then as she's trying to do it, it seizes and it grips into your arm. And as it grips, your vision goes black. And you suddenly start to see visions, old cities, towns, people, places, things. They just keep running rapidly through your brain and your head hurts. Hi, would like, I'm uh, going to- Ollie's going to sit down. Okay. So hey, 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 hey. Okay. I need you to get it together, okay? I did what I could. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Look, I know it's a lot, okay? It's a lot for me to process, too. But, kind of like we talked about before, people are dying. And a lot of people are going to die if we can't figure this out. I know. Okay. I know. Stick with me here. I promise we will spend some time trying to figure some other stuff out when we get through this. Okay? Okay. Don't question the person putting a timer on their phone. What are you. I was just going to point to the camera. Promise. What's up, Mariella? I would like to stumble onto something important. I would like to use my superpower. <laughs> Alright, as you come up and you look at the door, you notice it's a pretty heavy metal door and you, like, press on it once. You press on it again. And then you kind of look at the doorway and you press on it a third time because persistence, right? The door opens. You're just standing there with the looking, fire escape open. I'm looking at, at the other three, I guess. On the way in. Okay. Shall we? <sighs> open You're the door with our back. Security camera. Yep. Don't you have a badge or something? If we need it. Okay, perfect. Get Waylon. Waylon. Lizard also has a badge, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a ladder. Just climb a ladder. Do you want to be alone? You you double initial victim. I'll be fine. <laughs> Good luck. Suit Wait, Jody, Jody, watch them. I'll stay with Waylon. Okay. So is Waylon just sitting at the bottom? Just leaning against the building. No, Waylon will find like a uh, like a bench somewhere. Okay. All right. The rest of you are walking into this building. And I'm got... staying with Waylon though. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, the rest of you walk into this building, and it's definitely got those like emergency lights that they keep on during the day. But are very much probably not the lights they have for the club because it's pretty harsh lighting. And you can see the place you walked into looks like the office area. There's Door, two doors, one on the left, one on the right. It's a fairly clean looking hallway, actually. Red, dark red carpet, purple, dark purple walls. A little gaudy, but the demons. Any computer? And that is the timer. Finish your thought. Any computers or anything like that in here? Not in the hallway. Okay. Uh, after your friends disappear inside, Someone walks up to the fire escape and looks up Waylon. 
Uh, what do they look like? They are honestly long red hair, barely built, pretty tall, modestly dressed though, kind of thick, pale skin, freckles yeah. that you can well, even see on the arms. She, woman. She. And you're going to see her turn around and look at you and go, did you see anyone grow up that? Um, not in a time recently. You, Lil? I'm Lily. Although that's oh, my, but my friends call me. I'm, you can call me Lilith. All right. I actually do just have a few questions for you. I was planning on just waiting here until the club opened, but this works too. She's got to look up again and... Let's do this quickly then. All right then. So... Uh, out of curiosity, I'm doing a little bit of investigation on a person who went to your club recently and unfortunately passed away. A uh, woman by the name of um, Mercer. You're with Docs up, I take it then? Yes, indeed, ma'am. So can you keep the investigation out of my club? It gives it a bad name if somebody keeps saying people died after visiting here, but okay. In yes, fairness, Robert. club's not open right now, so... No need to worry about that. No, it's still got a few hours, thankfully. Yes, Miranda has visited the establishment a time or two. All right, a time or two. Business mostly, I'm assuming no pleasure. Completely business. And she even stayed on the first floor, which is shocking. She wanted mm. to talk to Supernatural. She should have gone on to the second floor. It's a Supernatural floor only. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, uh... How much of uh, what was happening with her did you were you aware of out of curiosity? What do you mean? Were you aware of any people she was regularly speaking to, uh, individuals in the club that she had to converse with, employees, regular kept, stuff like that? She kept talking to uh, one of my people because Harley kind of is the manager. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough woman kind of have to be if you're the manager and one of the bouncers. If you talk to Harley, she'd probably know a lot about what happened inside these walls. I kind of leave it to her to run it. Alrighty. So, did a lot of chat, chat with Harley. I'll keep that in mind. She'll be here um, in a couple hours. She opens the place up. Gotcha. Um, you're the one that's in charge of this whole Area. Correct. These are my people, yes. I'm not entirely sure how to phrase that. I don't have a lot of... Uh, we call it a tribe. ...conversations with y'all. This is a tribe. A tribe. Forgive me. I like to uh, pick my words carefully. Understandable, and I appreciate it. I'm not a particularly strong man, if you can't tell. And he'll kind of, like, pat his stomach. <laughs> and she'll laugh and go... Yes, but I'm also not naive to believe you don't have at least one weapon on you. You will be correct, but I still know when I'm uh, out of my league. Fair enough. But, nonetheless, um, I asked this question to the werewolves. I'll ask you the same thing. Are there any folks in your group that are outcasts, miscreants, troublemakers, stuff like that? No one of late. Well, no no one, one that I can think of. We've always got a couple people who come in here, think they know what they're doing. They're usually just the workers. Got it. They don't last long, I'm assuming? No, they move on to another city. So you'd run a pretty tight ship, basically. Indeed. This place is a sanctuary for people who need it. It's good to hear. So, past that point, I can't think of anything right off the top of my head I should be asking you about. Uh, I apologize. I don't think I gave you my name. My name's Waylon Wells. If you are looking to converse with me, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. Waylon Wells. Someone with a double name should be careful right now, shouldn't you? I'm sure I should, but once you get to a certain age, you stop worrying about the what ifs. Then I'm going to ask you a quick question. Yes, dear. 
you lying to me about who was going into that building? Absolutely, dear. Make sure they don't destroy anything. I'll send Harley I'm, along. I'm confident they won't. Uh, if I they do, a, I'll have to have words. I have a meeting with Antonio I was supposed to be getting to when my alarm went off. Yes. Don't worry, I'll make sure nothing bad happens. If you need me, Harley can give you my information, or I'm going to go talk to Antonio. We have a uh, a co-business advertising thing between us and the Vampires' this Club. That's quite a rad deal. And she's gonna Antonio's, walk Antonio's- wait, wait, wait. What's up? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? <laughs> she, she's- <laughs> She was like, oh, I didn't see you. Are you still on the fire escape or were you not sitting beside Wayland? No, I went to Wayland. Like, when they all went in, I, like, left and went to, like, sit next to okay, Wayland. I didn't really I said, said I, I said that I wasn't going to leave, like, I wasn't going to leave him by himself. I kind of assumed you were just kind of standing around nearby, but not sitting on the bench. And she's going to go, No, up, I would honey? I would have sat next to him. I'm like, What's no, up, no, no, honey? No. Just, uh, who's Antonio? Antonio is Tiff's right-hand man. All right. You do oh. know Tiff, right? She's yeah. the vampire leader, correct? Yeah, Sharp's a uh, bit of a hard woman, but out of curiosity, um, you guys do magic. <laughs> you have to understand, I am new to all of this. I don't know anything about supernatural things, and I was told you could do magic. I can, but I typically depend on items more than my own. Most uh, succubus magic is not. Everyday magic, shall we say? We can Not change exactly emotions. We can, influ- we can change and influence emotions. We can sometimes see beyond our senses, but for the most part, okay. most of us use magic items instead. So you, oh, okay, oh, that's that, that's interesting. I'm and sorry, course, I just the wild clan or coven provides for us. Those are the witches. Yes, the wild are the witches. Okay. I'm sorry. I I just I need to. So a little green behind your ears. Uh, that's Very not what you're saying, is it? I, mm. Maybe what, I don't know. What behind the ears? I don't know. Never been that's good the with one. them. I don't. I have this book. I feel like hold of the book that she was given, and that's about it. I don't really. That's it's a good one. Which one gave you that one? Uh, Val. Smart person. Good head on their shoulders. Went to med school and uh, veterinary school at the same time. Treats everyone wow. in this town. Child prodigy. Got bit halfway through med school, though. Wow. Well, I'll um, let you get to your meeting. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. And she's going to scurry off. Heels clicking as she goes. But the people still inside. We've got a few minutes, so what are you doing? Should we go around and break everything? No. I have a feeling we should just break everything. I think because like this is why like I didn't want to leave Waylon and all because I knew Jody would like beat them up. (laughs) It's like Jody would be fine. Jody can handle them. Weirdest weirdest impulse. Uh, (laughs) Um (laughs) just start, you know, just take the gun out, just start shooting things. Um the lady just kind of no. goes to put her hand through one of the mirrors. Are you sure? I could do it. Not. Does this look like a scrying mirror? Mm. <laughs> Doesn't feel magical. Okay. Then let's not worry about this one. Yo, also, yo, why are there mirrors before, right? in a vampire club? This isn't the vampire, it's the bliss. The bliss. There's something with <laughs> demons and mirrors i'm sure um maybe it's trinity maybe that makes sense um uh, this is the second floor they're on right hmm this is the, second, this is the second floor but this is the office area oh thank god oh no but we're gonna see oh, i mean ollie's ollie's they're not working if... real quick for the viewers at home and all my players i'm not letting you go into the actual second floor we aren't doing that on stream good i don't even have it designed <laughs> Ollie this is, is good. Their site, though. What, one more time, you cut out a little bit on my Ollie end. Ollie is opening up their site. Of course you are. Mm-hmm. Blizzard is opening up the doors. 
<laughs> the first door you open, it looks like it's a little office for two people. Kind of well furnished, furnished, but not much. And there, there's a couple computers. A very Isn't... comfy looking couch. Like, very comfortable. This is boring. This is really boring, is what very. we've done. We broke into the most boring place on the planet. Are you going to check yes. the other one? Yeah. We have. It's boring. You <laughs> open the other door, and this one's a little bit more uh, upper class. It very much, much looks like a CEO's office. Big oak table. Very nice, high quality, like, monitor. The debt table has the, like, actual computer under it, and you can tell it's very expensive. There's a couple bookshelves, but when you look through them, it's mainly housing pictures. And a lot of the pictures you notice, it's just a couple people that probably belong to the tribe. All of them are appropriate, though. There's no inappropriate material in this room. Blizzard just this slaps room the desk. PG 13. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it, but we'll move on from that. What's Lizard oh do God. again? Slaps I, the desk. Just like, ah! Very satisfying noise. Sturdy. You should, you should do a video in here. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, I need to... Happen. Wait, no. Lizard has a phone out, but is also looking for a blank piece of paper on the desk anywhere, and like a pencil, or like a pen. There's definitely paper and pencil on the desk. Lizard writes a note, and is like, you have a very lovely office. With a smiley face and puts it right on the middle of the desk. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be you know what, never mind. We're investigating, that's what we're doing. Yeah. We haven't I found mean... any weird dildos yet. <laughs> Lizard's hands over the ears. No <laughs> What? I've... Isn't that like <laughs> isn't that something that's in a sex club? Like not in the office. I don't What do you I... think we do in the office <laughs> of a sex club? You say that like I've ever been in one, Jody. As, as you guys are having this conversation. Sorry, I had to hit Connor for making inappropriate <laughs> gestures with Toby. You can hear someone clear their throat in the doorway. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Hello. The woman who's standing there, she, she's short, but her arms are probably as big as uh, Lizard's head. Pixie cut blue hair with brown eyes, light brown skin. Now then, if I hadn't just received a text from my boss that I was having some visitors, I'd be making to get my gun out. I can get mine out if two if you want. No, me we're too. Not, we're not fighting. We're not fighting. We're not fighting. <laughs> and the woman's gonna walk into the room, saunter behind her desk. Can I help all of you? Uh, we are very sorry for um. For, for coming in uh, at, uh, before hours, uh, the door is open somehow. <laughs> um, but we are investigating the uh, the deaths. Uh, specifically, we are here because of uh, Miranda, and we're hoping to find some people who were maybe some of the last people who saw her alive. Were you keeping an eye on her the night she was in here before she died? Yes. She's a human that knows about the supernatural. Always kind of a hot topic in the club, and sometimes supernatural creatures get a little... They want to drag people upstairs with them. If they know, because, you know, not many humans get to know. So I keep an eye on her to make sure she was safe. You left about 15 minutes after she left. Where did you go? I went home. I'd been here since, like, now. Can anybody like, corroborate that? I could probably ask Lily. Convenient. She's my boss. I live with her. Do you live with your boss? A lot of us live together. Fair enough. Did you see did you see Miranda link up with anyone outside of the club when she left? 
a scrawny looking kid. I had a hood up though. Couldn't really get any details. Do you have any cameras on the outside? All the cameras we have are connected to uh, pop, uh the pack protection security. Which we saw already. Including the one in the back. No, that's one of ours. Ah. I can get you. Maybe. I'd have to ask a Lily. I mean, look, you were one of the last people that was seen with her. She had bite marks. I I would hate to have more people poking around and doing this kind of thing. Sam. I was going to kind of tilt her head and go, you really don't know much about us, do you? She's going to kind of motion oh, no. for you to lean forward. Ollie's going <sighs> to get back his head go, might need a little bit of backup on this if you want to like show off a little bit. And Ollie's going to lean in. She's going to look yeah. at you and go, you don't really understand how our demon tribe works, do you? Not a fucking clue. Why don't you tell me? We're all fucking asexual, dumbass. We're sex demons, but some of us don't enjoy it. This club is a way to still feed off the energy that is produced at the moment. We can feed without having to do what we're not comfortable with. None of us would have been biting people. Only place like it in the world. When I heard about it, it was great. I didn't have to force myself to do anything I didn't want to do. Okay. So, rope burns and uh, victims who had been choked to death wouldn't ever lead back to this club, right? Not one of our workers. You can't say anything for the clients. We try to vet them pretty well, but we've had some that are every now and then a little bit shifty, but none that have ever murdered anyone. Is there ever one that you had to turn down? Yeah, new guy recently. Ugly hair. Do you have a picture by chance? No, but I can tell you he's got a ugly purple hair cut. Giant Aww. mohawk. That bastard! Jody, Jody like, <laughs> shares a glance with, like, Lizard, like... Do you have a name? I don't know his name. I would have to check the records. Uh, give me a second. Thank She's gonna you. sit down and start pulling up on her computer. So I take it you guys are trying to figure out what's what's happening here, right? Would love to. So would I. She's yeah. gonna start clicking through her records and click on a page. And what the fuck? And she's gonna lean forward and start typing on it. She's gonna get kind of an intense look on her face. Let me guess, it's deleted. It's not deleted. The description's all there. And who he's associated with, but his name's gone. Who's he he's associated? one of the he's one of Wilde's uh boys. He keeps pointing back to the witches. I'm assuming you have a printer. She's going to press a button and you hear a printer start to set up. Thank you. Yeah, no, he was a real shifty dude. Kept making people uncomfortable. We have a pretty strict code of rules here. Can I help y'all with anything else? Lizard? That's if you... You were gonna I got video, nothing. Right? You were going to make a video, right? Yeah, but now that, like, we're allowed to be in here, it's not as fun. Just a bit of a heads up. If you head over to our cafe that we have in the district, Jesse might be able to tell you more about whoever the fuck that was. Jesse's a known gossip. Okay. Hard to miss him. Oh, um, but to get in, you have to... When you get to the threshold, you have to say mischief. It's a way of keeping people who aren't in the know out. Mischief. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. What happened to Mr. Chiff? But, um... Miss... 
Aww. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. go. If it wasn't close, then we can end there, actually. <laughs> Lizard says that and immediately walks out the fire escape. Go. Can, can I do one thing as we're leaving? Yeah. I Jesus want Christ. to use Jinx. She's been rolling so I'm, I'm hoping I can get one. I'm hoping Good I luck, can get one. Hold on, you're gonna roll bad. Go. I already did. Uh, that's a five on the die plus two seven. Oh, it's a mixed success. Mixed so, success. Yeah. One seven, old one. It's all I needed to do. Uh, Ollie is going to uh, use the target find something you left for them. Ollie's going to leave a small note, just kind of without anybody noticing, uh, for her on the desk. And Ollie's going to leave his phone number. Said so the lady's with me if you need help. Okay. And as you drop the note down to be found, you all walk out the front door, since Harley wants you to be a little civilized. <laughs> you have some leads, you have some ideas of where you can find more info, and you've still got two groups you've yet to meet, the vampires and the witches. And that is where we will end it. So, everyone who's watched, all my players, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for playing, thank you so much for watching. We will be back in two weeks, where hopefully my players don't immediately, like, start pinpointing stuff because I don't have more written yet. All right. Uh, that sounds like we're wrapping up the stream here. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern with our regular D&D &D game run by this guy, Connor. Um, and we'll have the whole crew here instead of just the six of us. Everyone say bye stream. Bye, bye stream. Bye stream. Bye stream. Bye stream.